Hi, in this video I'd like to show you how to use Visual Studio Code and Java to create a Java doc. So Java docs are those nice documented web pages that show you all the properties of the classes and methods that you've built in your program. And so this video is not about why you should do Java docs, but how. So let's see uh, what I have first of all programmed and then I'll show you how to build the Java doc. So you can see I have a simple app and I have a person class. So the person class has some special formatted comments at the top. So Java docs wants you to have these comments with these kind of uh, three line uh, parameters and uh, return statements listed. And so you can see I have a couple of uh, methods that are customized. So this one, for example, says retirement age for a person, a description. We have the return value and uh, another return value. So Java docs uh, formatting is another subject. The point here is how do you make it work? So let's see if the, the program runs, and then as soon as it's running, uh, then I'm ready to actually uh, to test it out with the Java docs. Okay, so it looks like it's running. So it says, hello world, and it's got my name, and of course I'm 30 years old. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the command line here, and I'm gonna paste in a command. So this says, Java doc hyphen D. So what is this? This is the destination. So what you're going to expect is up in the left corner here in the, uh, the branches of where the folders are, you're gonna see a new folder called DOC. So doc is a standard name, it doesn't have to be doc. Then the source path, so a hyphen source path. And then I have the name of my uh, folders. So you can see that I have source, main, java, com, shad, sluter as my uh, project. So I'm going to put in source main Java. So everything in my project will be included below that folder. And then the sub packages. So I'm gonna have, uh, let's see, this is split into two lines, but it says, what are the sub packages? So edu uh, shad sluter is listed there on two lines. So you can see that the uh, com shad sluter is uh, my project name. So com is more correct. Uh, that's a mistake. I'm gonna erase that edu because I didn't put edu in this project, so com.shadsluter, and I'm gonna press enter. Now, if this works, you're golden. If it didn't work and you have something like Java home not found or Java docs not found, then you have another issue, which means your path is not set correctly. So I have a couple of videos I'll put in the link that show you how to resolve those errors. So if you have Java home not found, then check that out. And if it says unrecognized uh, command, then you probably don't have a path to your Java folder either. So those are things that you have to resolve. So once I've got those figured out, uh, then I'm gonna go up to the doc folder and you can see that I have an index and HTML. So that's a web page. Now I'm gonna right click and uh, reveal that in the file explorer. And then I'm going to double click on this. And you're gonna see um, what browser you wanna choose. So it looks like I'm still using Edge here and uh, I'm going to see my application with my uh, documentation. So I've got the app folder, the person class, and then you can see that it has the methods and the constructors and the properties all listed. And so the Java docs has been created. So this is simply just a website that you can run locally. You can see it's not a web server that's running. I'm just looking at the files, but the packages are documented. So if you want to see some real documentation for Java, you just go to their website where it's got oracle.com and the documentation. This is the entire Java language documented. And so you can see all the classes that are in here. And as you browse through it, you're going to see uh, the properties, the uh, constructors and the return values. So everything you need to know about how Java is built is contained in Java docs. If you find this useful, make sure you subscribe and come to class. I'm Shad Sluter and I teach software development at Grand Canyon University. And so you, like hundreds of other, other students, can get a career and improve your knowledge just by attending class with me. Thanks for coming and we'll see you soon.